Hello my fellow book nerd Welcome to another journal with me video And today I will talk about the books that I read in September While update my reading journal First, let's start with the nerdy things that I love Which is reading stat I finished 5 books last month And only one of them got 5 stars While the rest were 4 stars I read all of them in digital format for audiobooks and one ebook. My most read genres last month are general fiction and romance. This is quite surprising because I rarely read these genres, especially the general fiction. Meanwhile, for my favorite genre, fantasy, I only read one fantasy book in September. I also only read one new releases which is an advanced reader copy that I got from a publisher and the rest of the books that I read last month are backlist title. Now let's talk about the books I read in September. The first book is The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. It is a sequel to Six Crimson Cranes and also one of my anticipated release for this year. Although I really like it, I don't adore it like the first book because I have a little problem with the pace especially in the middle of the story. But nonetheless, I still really enjoy this book. The second book that I read is Boy Toy by Alia Zalea. It is an Indonesian book and I listened to the audiobook from Storytel. This is the third book in Pentagon series. In this series, each book features the story of each member of a boy band called Pentagon. I read all of the books from the series via audiobook and I highly recommend it. It is addictive, easy to follow, and will be the perfect choice to listen while you're doing something. Now, after the boy toy, the rest of the books that I read are from Indonesian author because I found lots of old titles in Storytel and I feel nostalgic seeing those familiar titles. The third book is Fairies by S.T. Kinasi. It is actually a reread and the first time I read it was 20 years ago but surprisingly this book still as good as I remember it was. Moving on with my fourth and fifth books that I read were from a really popular series in 80s. In fact, I know about this series because I saw it on my uncle collection. The series centered on the story of a senior high school student named Lupus. He is an easygoing student, not really bright in terms of academic, but super creative and lots of people love him because of that. He also well known because of his hairstyle and his habit chewing the bubble gum. The series started as a short story and written for a teen magazine that later published as a book. After reading two books from the series, I really understand why this character and story became so popular back then. It brought up important and meaningful topics but delivered in light writing style that will be easy to digest by young generation. Now talking about these spreads, after writing all of the titles, I just added the writing in each boxes and as I said before, I give only one book 5 stars and that is Fairies by S.T. Kinasi. I consider September as a good reading month because I don't have any books that I don't like and also my average rating is above 4 stars 
the only thing that I feel a little bit sad is because I cannot read as much as I hope so in the month of September. Now, for my monthly favorite, it is The Dragon Promise by Elizabeth Lim. Although I don't give it 5 star, I still had a great time reading it. The narration is just as beautiful as the first book and there are too many beautiful lines that I adore from this book. That's also what inspired me to use this page to write my top 3 quotes from this book. By the way, if you have read this book or at least the six crimson cranes, you probably know why I have the pepper bird in here. Besides the writing, Siori's adventures also made me hook on the story. However, the relationship between the character is what I'm rooting for. There are many heartwarming moments and this book also portrayed many phases of love. Start from the love between family, love between mother and daughter, love between siblings, and also between a lover. Now talking about the quotes, my number one favorite from this book is be the light that makes someone else lantern shines. I found this quote is not just beautiful, but it also a great reminder that we as humans should be a useful and helpful toward each other. The second quote is, if you have no heart, I will give you half of mine. If you have no spirit, I will bind yours to mine. That word is so beautiful that it gives me chills. God is you would do well to remember this your heart is your home until you understand that you belong to nowhere again another great reminder for us as a human something actually a simple things but we tend to forget about it And here's the final flip through. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon friends.